What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. I am in Holland. Um, I actually can't pronounce the name of the town I'm in, so I'm not even gonna bother trying. But this is the view out my hotel window. So yeah, lovely little place. Um, I'm here for a huge Red Bull contest called Red Bull Uncontained. Um, they built this absolutely phenomenal course based on two levels and they built this insane step up that is honestly the biggest thing I've ever seen at a contest. They really have stepped it up and it's hard to do it justice with photos and, and video and stuff like that. But um, yeah, trust me, this thing is huge. I'm here commentating the event, so it's gonna be super busy for me. But the good news is young Kieran Riley, Paul Tolan and Tom Bogard, my team riders are riding in the event. Kieran actually knocked himself out riding a motorbike the other day. So it was, there was some serious doubt whether Red Bull were gonna let him ride or not but he's recovered well and he's gonna ride the event. And so today I'm gonna to do my very best to just show you guys, give you a little taste to how crazy this, this course is and the step up especially. I have to go in a bloody elevator to get up to the top of this thing. Like, let's go over there now and see if we can get a couple of clips of Kieran jumping this step up because this thing is massive. Anyway, thanks for coming back for another video guys. Let's check this out. Kieran, here we go. All right, what's going on? We're about to get in a lift. Come on, step up. That will go, yeah. Casual. Whoa. Feels like Chernobyl in here. Mega step up, of course. Too fast, and then forgot how big that We're right at the top of the building now. Pretty much can touch the roof. Really? It's gonna put me on. Just gives you a bit more perspective. How big it is. First day back on the on the step up since I cut my head open. Like doing it all over again, right? <laughs> Starting again. I'm going up the lip, just thinking about Bogard sat there. Oh, now you've got one. two. Have you freed it, Cobalt? Yeah, I just freed it then. Oh. I can't explain to you how big it is in real life too. Like, when I saw a video of it before I got here, I, I knew it was big, but when you get here, it's absolutely terrifying. Like, Where's Tom going? <laughs> Get it, Kieran. What? I really have no idea what the limit is. Like, when is it going to end? Because the courses are getting out of hand. This thing is beyond terrifying. But that's the problem. At the same time, there's so much fun to ride. And because it's so new, it's just the riders love it. And I wish I was riding. So we just pulled up at Matt's house. There appears to be some huge gate out the front. Matthew? Oh, here we go. <laughs> yes, mate. That's the gate you were telling me your mum spent a load of money on, right? My mum wanted a gate. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's hinge. It's, it's a nightmare to then get like, the cars in and out. <laughs> There's the Audi. 
There's the big gay orange van. <laughs> let's go, let's check out the crib. Yeah. Or your little living quarters. I don't know. It's, I don't even know. My, my nice chair. <laughs> swing. Sex swing. <laughs> Mate, this place is sick. Look at your telly. Yeah. I only got this one because it's like five inches bigger than my dad's. <laughs> that was like, we've always had like this competition of who has like the bigger TV. Who's got the biggest telly? So I won because he can't fit one that big in there. Mate, so <laughs> sick. Uh, I would eat you. my telly. Good for your Netflix. Hey, this is sick. What a sick little chill zone. Sit down, eat dinner, watch movies. It's all living good. The dream. <laughs> yeah, living the dream. What's the rest of it look like? Kitchen where I do loads of cooking for myself. Yeah, you don't use the kitchen, <laughs> dude. I'd hammer this place. I, ki I kitchen sometimes. I kitchen. <laughs> oh. Toilet, shower. Hey, this is so sick. How old are you? I'm 20. <laughs> if I had this when I was 20. This, this. Matt's MTV Cribs. When Baz sends me clothes to put on him. <laughs> Which is often. Yeah, it is often. This is, this is the, and then this the is yard. Where, this is where the sleeping arrangements and more clothes. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Yeah. Dude, this place is sick. Like, having this at 20, you are living. Yeah. <laughs> you can't complain, can you? I'm not complaining one bit. This is tight. Right. It's, so, it's like the perfect size, just to yeah. chill on your own. And, and then if you want to rent this on Airbnb from next year... <laughs> put something on there. Hit me up. Matt's now got a van to live in instead of this incredible apartment. So. Guys, shout out to Matt and his MTV Cribs. <laughs> this place is absolutely ridiculous. You are absolutely living the dream, Matt. That's sick. I'm loving life. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> I never know what to say when you put a camera on my face. So good, so good. All right, we just wrapped up MTV Cribs with your boy Matt, and now Hello. we are off to Corby Skate Park. Been a few weeks, and a new skate park there is sick. Here we go. Oh my god! Hey, Matty. Oh my lord. All right, what's going on everybody? Just here with my boy Kieran. About to sit him down and do a little interview. I forgot the radio mic, so I'm so gutted. So hopefully this will sound all right. You better check this out on the other channel. I'll leave a link. Is this, from, is this from my video? Yeah, this is from my video. So I'll leave a link in the description to Kieran's interview. The man of the moment. You guys gotta check this out. This looks really professional, doesn't it? This looks like I'm actually professional, but actually not using any of the lights. You're a legend for doing that though, mate. Yes, oh. <laughs> and we'll come out there in a second, film some clips, film some tech. put them over the interview, and that'll be everyone's introduction to Callum Rafferty, the Shred Lord. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah, no worries. Yes, Matt. Whoa. Matt, he absolutely smashes this place. Round two, baby. Yeah, it's kicking off. Here we go. So I've got this new camera and it hasn't got like the flip out screen. So um but upset that he tracked that. This is the new camera. Pretty sweet. I'm into it. Half the it's kind of cool because it's a better camera, but often I might be um, out of focus, which isn't cool. So I don't know if I'm in focus or not. Awesome. 
by Chemical Romance. Emo. Emo for life, not just for Christmas. Yeah. Come what? here, let's catch up. Wow, you got the full suit on. Boy, kit. Look at that. Shout out to me in the mirror. Shout out to the orange beanie. Oh, do you like it? It's embroidered, look. Somewhere. I actually need that back, don't I? Because I need to. No, it's mine. Cool. I am gold med. Why is there like poo on the floor? Or like, it's either poo or like crushed in pistachio. <laughs> uh, pass. <laughs> It looks like you've been using this to go like scrapping. <laughs> <laughs> Got any scrap? My, this camera don't even focus. Anyway, <laughs> um, all right, little behind the scenes here with Mr. OJJ. Um, he's going to be the third interview on this little grotty little interview series <laughs> I'm doing. Um, no idea what this is going to turn out like. We're kind of rushed for time. We just tried to ride the skate park. My bike broke. I then nearly crashed on two really stupid things and nearly died, so I and gave then up. And he did crash on one thing. Yeah, yeah, then I crashed on opposite three, which I never crash on. So I'm like super bummed on the session. So I'm going to interview him, see if he comes out with anything funny. You will see this in a future video, guys. Your eyes peel for this, everybody. Oh, this looks really pro, like this shot. Ollie's going to reveal secrets about how he lost loads of weight because he used to be obese, so that's going to be the main talking point. So make sure you check out the video. Sick, dude. The jizzle. What's happening, players? It's your big man, the one and only, your favourite. Hey, my camera looks good. Ollie, turn around. Tucked in bum. Sorry, what? <laughs> And I look down and I've got a punch up. Selfish. Lucky I've got the tool. Is that a cult tool? <laughs> it might have been when I hung up on the side of the spine there. <laughs> and he hung up his whole bike on the side of the spine. <laughs> and it looked really good. So that's probably why he's got a punch up. Oh, and he's using spanners now to try and add tyre levers. Can we have a look? These tyres come off really easy though, they're good. Lucky I'm a professional athlete and I carry a spare inner tube. Oh no, you have to take your back wear off to get the tube, right? Damn it. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Uh, Just as I was saying, I was professional. Awesome. Jack Jones. A fairly small spine they built here at base. Usually I like to ride bigger stuff, but I think, you know, six foot, seven foot spine is pretty decent. Does it look big? It looks massive. Because it is big, <laughs> that's why. All right, everybody, I'm gonna to explain to you what a spine is if you don't know. It's two ramps up against each other. If you hang up, you're dead. If you land flat, which you can easily, you're dead. Because you've only got to jump that far, so. This thing is big, scary, and I can't wait to make Ollie 360 it. That's double coping. Usually volcanoes have a little bit of wood in between. But double copings are pretty scary, and uh, they're quite extinct nowadays. There you go. Yeah, and this one's a big one, it's really scary. So, um, let's see if Ollie can 360 it. Yes, Ollie! Oh. Oh. That was sweet, though. No! That was decent. That was good. Thanks, mate. How are you feeling about your, your X Games run? You wait, it's going down. It's good because like, it's like I'm feel it filming long fish. Oh. So good I did that first guy. <laughs> hey, my back wheel's buckled. <laughs> Let's cut that out. <laughs> right, Ollie, we're about to peace out. Good riding with you. That was fun. You got anything else to say to um, the viewers? Yeah, if you could all send me one pound via PayPal, <laughs> that'd be <laughs> awesome. I'm going for a hard time at the moment, I need some cash.
My GG. Come on. You good? Good. Tommy G. Oi. 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 No, actually, it would be really cool if you did like a monthly video or something for it. Yeah, probably will. Probably won't. Yeah, probably won't. <laughs> Sick. Let's have a look at it, Tom. Juju. 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 Nice. Sick. It's well sick. 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 Card number seven for Matt. <laughs> wow. I've had four cars in my life. Yeah, I think I don't know what number this is. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> What's the goal? Creative parking. I'd love to let you borrow more one of my cars. Well, no, I wouldn't do it to like a friend's car or something, but this is. This won't even be here. It'll be recycled in a couple of years, won't it? Oh, time marks went quite high, didn't they? <laughs> Were they really up there, that mark? It's <laughs> not pretty high. Wait, you're street riding. I'm gonna make my own video street riding in a car. <laughs> How's that? It's quite high, isn't it? <laughs> Can't even park like this. <laughs> okay, um, hello Robin. <laughs> what about you say that just as I'm drinking, drinking a cup of tea? As you say, the lens is flared up. Yeah. It's the, not flared up, it's got condensation on it. Well, temperature difference between the cab, Baz's warm sanctuary, and where he puts his riders in the back of the van, it's freezing. <laughs> So his lens is a bit acclimatised. You weren't put there, you were put in your own vehicle, this lovely yeah, rental. Look at that thing. <laughs> I think it was $180 for the day. For, for eight days actually. Which is quite a good deal, because when I got here, I paid £300 for one day when I drove up to my parents' house. I would never let you borrow anything. I wish, I wish the rental company could see what you did to that car. Yeah, but I wouldn't do it. If it, it, it doesn't really have a value. It's not, you know, it's, it's owned by a corporation, so. I sort of need to get some footage now to make that quote. Valid. I don't know what you're footage about. of you. Of just, you just, just. Can you blur mistreating out mistreating this car? Can you blur out the license plate? <laughs> if I do some stunts in the car. So, Robin, when was the last time you rode BMX? Well, technically, two days ago, I rode down the seafront in Hastings with you, <laughs> um, which was quite nice. But I did feel like an old man. My shins felt naked, even under my pants. On a when BMX. was the last time you did a backflip? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, like uh, definitely a few years ago. I think with Bowen. Some of you guys probably watch the roundabout video, which is the company. Wait, they don't know who I am. Most likely not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know who we, I am? We could actually tell everyone about the fact that we started a t-shirt company called Roundabout and made two videos and loads of people. In fact, Ollie grew up watching our vi our first videos roundabout and he loved them. Ollie's a, a big fan of mine. And he should know. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's funny that Instagram today, someone, was it Ride UK, said like what were the most impactful videos and like people were commenting, I hadn't thought about Roundabout in a while and people were commenting and saying, oh Roundabout 1 and 2 or what was that one guy this morning, he's like, oh I wish I was on the road right now. And yeah. then we sent him an image of me and you. <laughs> yeah, instead of sitting at Adrenaline Alley, we were sitting in the Ivy in Cambridge <laughs> eating a fancy breakfast. Can you get some footage from the Roundabout video, from the Roundabout video for this video? 
Yeah, there's some at home. I can download it from that. Let me just quickly. BMX IDB thing. All right, so Robin and I, years ago, we started a t-shirt company called Roundabout. We produced two videos that were on the front cover of, of Ride UK, which was like a big magazine at the time. I think like, 20,000 copies we made. Seven, yeah, so 20,000 copies of the mag of the video went free on the f front cover of Ride, so loads of people watch the video. And we made the video super fun with us just messing around. And it, and then we bought too many t-shirts, but we sold loads of t-shirts. <laughs> and then we decided we didn't like running the company because we were 23, so we stopped it. <laughs> we also, on the video that we put on the cover of a, a magazine and distributed 20 odd thousand copies of it we used loads of like massive musicians and artists and djs <laughs> and didn't pay anything in music rights we would be like lynched today wouldn't we nah, fat boy slim would be cool if i put on youtube <laughs> right are you going to be able to ride today honestly it depends how many people are here there was a line out the door of like small children who didn't really look like they know where they, which way they were going um, we pulled up to corby on the busiest day of the year it's like christmas holidays everyone has a new scooter um, so yeah, I don't know. It's been a while since I've ridden. I quite like some shin pads, actually. <laughs> if yeah. I can get some footage of you buying some shin pads in Corby Bike Shop, I will. <laughs> my life's complete. All right, I'll we'll see if we can order some shin pads. <laughs> if I get some shin pads and a helmet, I could probably do a backflip. Wear a helmet. Amazing. I'd like to do a tail whip up, a step up, and look at my pedals and wait for the bike to come around and go. Last time I rode was in Santa Monica with Corey Bowen probably three years ago. Okay, right, this is five minutes now and I don't want this to be too long, so let's cut. All right. Cut.